Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about triangle congruence postulate. This topic is under grade 8 mathematics, which falls under geometry. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Two triangles are said to be congruent if their vertices can be paired so that corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are congruent. Dapat daw parehas yung size ng kanilang sides at parehas din yung size ng corresponding angles nila. So we have here two different triangles. For us to say that these two triangles are congruent, they must have the same shape and same size. In the next part of our video, I will show you that the corresponding parts are congruent so that they are so that the triangles are congruent suppose that triangle abc this is your triangle abc coincides with triangle def such that the vertices of triangle abc fit exactly over the vertices of triangle def dapat daw mag coincide sila the correspondence of the vertices will be this one, point A and point D, or point A corresponds to point D. By the way, this is the symbol for correspondence. Again, you need to read it, this one as point A or A corresponds to D. This vertex, A, corresponds to D. And another correspondence for the vertices is that you have point B corresponds to E. This point corresponds to this point. And another part or another pair of vertices that needs to be corresponding, you have point C corresponds to point F. So these two vertices must, must have a correspondence. If those vertices correspond to each other, we can have these corresponding angles. And if your angle A corresponds to angle D, this is your angle A and to angle D, and if they are congruent, angle A is congruent to angle D. So, possible sign we can have there is that angle A is congruent to angle D. Dapat pares lang ng number of arcs. If angle B corresponds to angle E, this angle, I'll be using two arcs to represent your angle. So they are congruent. And if angle C corresponds to angle F, I'll be using three, the angle F. And they are congruent. These are the three corresponding angles and three pairs of congruent angles in these two triangles. So, pakita rin natin ngayon yung corresponding signs natin. If AB corresponds to DE, we can say that they are congruent. We will use one marking. Okay. You can say that AB is congruent or side AB is congruent to side DE. Another thing na pwede natin gawin dito is that since your BC corresponds to EF, BC corresponds to EF, I will be using two markings. So you can say that BC is congruent to side EF. Lastly, if your AC, side AC corresponds to DF, this is your AC and this is your DF, we will be using these three markings. If they have three markings, you can say, or you can declare that AC or side AC is congruent to side DF. If this three 
three pairs of congruent angles and three pairs of congruent sides appear on two triangles. Therefore, we can say that, we can say that, or we can conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D E F. Remember, in writing a congruency statement of a figure or any triangle, the arrangement of the letters is very important. So we have here A, B, C that corresponds to D, E, F. Again, the two triangles are congruent if this six pairs of congruent sides is evident. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!